If you want to open it up, you can't do it on your own. Because we have to do it on our own. We have to do it on our own. But we have to do it on our own. We have to do Now, we want to thank God in prayer for just... Uh, for his willingness to reveal himself to us. Which he was not willing to do on other people's lives. We are living in a perverse generation. We are living among a corruptible, stiff-necked generation. People that are clueless about the Lord and yet they go about speaking much about Jesus as if they are the ones who know him. So it, it, it also happens in the natural world, you know, when people talk about mercy, and then if you are going to meet his children, they don't talk about mercy the way strangers do. Yes. <laughs> so they don't talk about now, it is very stupid for people to say they want to celebrate his birthday. Because of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 give us that scripture. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Now if you are going to pay particular attention to that scripture there, you are going to discover that Isaiah, as much as he was blinded according to what Apostle Paul says in Romans 11, that the, the elect obtained it, but the rest were blinded. But you are going to see that he started by talking about a child and then he talked about a son. Yes. He was going to manifest as a child. But when God gives him, God is not going to give a child to the world. God was going to give a son. Yes. Uh, don't be quick to clap your hands. God was not going to give us a child. He was going to give us a son. But before he becomes a son, he must start by being a child. You see now, this, this, this part, this first part, verse 6a, up to the colony there, it explains Romans chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. He must be a child and then a son. Give us Romans chapter 1. And this is a prayer point. A poor a servant of Jesus Christ called to be an apostle separated unto the gospel of God, which he promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his son Jesus Christ. It is concerning who? His son. Look at that verse number three there. He's talking about the son and he puts a capital S and then he puts a comma. He now wants to explain how are we going to find the son. And then he says, first of all, he was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. You see now, this is his child part. Made of the seed of David according to the flesh. According to the flesh, he is a child. Yes. So how does he become a son? Verse number four, together go and declared to be the son of God with the power. When? According to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Clippings for Jesus. <laughs> you see now. So what we want to ask the Christmas uh, the, the Christmas uh, followers <laughs> the Christmas fanatics the Christmas addicts we want to ask them Christmas are you celebrating the birth of the child or you are celebrating the birth of the son 
Apo. Because for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten, begotten child, begotten child, begotten son. Yes. So that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, okay. Go back to Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. What we were given by God is the son, not the child. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder. Upon whose shoulder? The son. Yes. And his name, the name of the child or the name of the son? Yes. The name of the son shall be called Wonderful, Wonderful. Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. <laughs> For those who get confused too quick, the word everlasting means without beginning of life and without end of life. Is it not an abomination? A sacrilege? For people to celebrate the birth of an everlasting father. <laughs> Muruku celebrate a birthday. Ramaiti God. Everlasting Father. It could not have said, Bako. As Matone say, Raya, Amakura meet Kuno Kama Muzero and Monto, when Montoro. Mupunze uta asima tuone saere Eveni Kuno kama muzerewe mondoro Makungu ndengu Makungu kasha Itu kwa shaman Itu kuna alipa saidi bako makungu ndengu Makungu kasha I don't think my kubuka shaku seva mutu en nundurua. It's what What forbids us from observing key Christmas is our knowledge yes. that Jesus, when Isaiah talked about him, he said that number one, he was going to be the mighty God. Number two, he was going to be everlasting father. The moment Jesus has a, a birthday, it means he now has the beginning of life. Like every one of us. Hebrews 7 from verse number 1 to verse number 3. Does he have a beginning of life? Yes, Tangira for this Melchizedek, this Melchizedek, King of Salem, King of Salem, Priest of the Most High Priest God, of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings, he met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings, and blessed him. Melchizedek blessed Abraham, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all. Abraham gave tenth unto Melchizedek of everything that he had uh, uh, looted. First, being by interpretation King of Righteousness. If we say king of, if we say Melchizedek, the word Melchizedek means king of righteousness. And after that, also king of Salem. King of Salem means king of peace. Which is king of peace. Who is this Melchizedek? Without father. He doesn't have a father. Without mother. He doesn't have a mother. Without descent. He doesn't have a family tree. Having neither beginning of death. He doesn't have a date of birth. No end of life. He doesn't have a date of death. But made like unto the Son of God. Oh! <laughs> Akumana! <laughs> Abideth a priest continually. Tell your neighbor continually. Continually. So he is like whom? 
Is he like a child of God? He is like the son of God. Not the child of God. The last scripture, Hebrews chapter, Hebrews chapter 1, verse number 8. Yes. He is an everlasting father. Yes. Without beginning of life, no end of days. Deo makacha gira tenike jie mpunga. Amuna ere mpunga wa makatenga imimi. Mushida kutumubata nize. Nomba enyu enyama. Neku ya kwa munga haripa nyika. Iro 25 December. Arisi deti leku zora waka jesu. Dera tamuzi. Wasinka shizive mune namo. Tuna kutonu nuro wa haripa shikiri bane. Wakaba tukwa ne gwati. Yes. But unto the son. Look at the word the son in verse number 8 of Hebrews 1. Look at the word the son. It's with a capital S. It's a proper name. It's a proper noun. It is his name. Unto the son he said, Thy throne, O oh God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Look at it. Forever and ever. Anova kukusinga peri. Ajenda kukusinga peri. Sini mrugutaewa. Chikaro chaki cheushe. Chino tangira msuwa 25. Apa ntopo maka chinja apa. Mtene sanwa. Pakanti forever and ever. Ntopo maka chinja imimi papu. Mkati chikaro chenyu cheushe imimi ngari. Chino tangira msuwa 25. Tozono chako kwa chino peri raku peri kuko. But you know, thank you, I'm so at 25. Maharaj Taura na Jesu. Akati ini mangari. Muno tonga kupa kusinga peri. Mujenda kusinga peri. 25 December. Christmas. Isha shimu maharu kutindipeo Christmas box. Wakambu wana muna chipuwa bethi te present pa bethi te resi rake. Oda Christmas box ni duwa waka duwe jese re iwewe. Tumafunga wa si kwe iwewe. Saka po walu kuda present yu ulutu wati dini tamuzi wacho. Dipe ini ni dinda waka itiru wa iso. Kana kupa kwenye mwana aine birthday. Ndiya anutengiru wa cake. Ndiya anegiru wa ma presents. Iwo waka utu kwa kundi jesa kwa sharu wa msu watu kendi five. Ngati ti icho kwa di. Kwa chipo iwe uru kushidi. Kwa katsuru waka munu kadi kwa msu watu kendi five December. Kwa Christmas ban munu kadi. Saka tamuz ndi ya kasharu wa msuwa 25 December. Gati nzwei izike ila ashpariza. Izike ila angari mporofita wa jeso. Uye shakari waka angari mprisita. Waifeka effort izike ila. Asa kutamba nae. Monako manawa hiu kia. Alright, alright. Ezekiel chapter 8, verse number 8. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig down in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold a door. And he said unto me, Go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. So, I mean, conclusively, uh, Ezekiel chapter 8 uh, chronicles what Ezekiel was uh, revealed. And by the way, he was standing between heaven and earth. It was a revelation of the wickedness of the princes of Israel. Because this Christmas thing, you can't understand its wickedness if you are not given a revelation. On the surface, it appears to be a noble holiday. 
it appears like there's nothing wrong about people celebrating the birth of their Messiah. But inside, deep inside, if you scratch beneath the surface, you are going to see a horrible and a gory picture uh, in that wicked uh, practice. So what he says in verse number 9, he says, Go in and look the wicked abominations that do in here. So I went in and saw and behold every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel. So the wicked things were their idols, the objects of worship that Israel began to worship against God's instruction that thou shouldn't uh, bow down to worship any God made like anything that is in heaven on, or in earth or in the sea or anything beneath the sea. You can't make a carved or modern God. I am a jealous God. You shall only worship the one and true only God which is in heaven. They began to save gods which were idols. And there stood before them, verse 11. Let me read again verse 10. So I went in and saw and behold every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. So these were portraits, these were inscriptions, these were drawings of gods, the Christmas tree, uh, and, and such things like that. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel, 70 elders of the house of Israel. What were they doing? And it, in the midst of them stood Jazania, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand. They were holding censers, which are used to burn incense. And a thick cloud of incense went up. Then said he unto me, Son of man, thou hast seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark. Every man in the chambers of his imagery, for they say, the Lord seeth us not, the Lord hath forsaken the earth. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that, that they do. Greater. So in verse number 8 to verse number 12, he was seeing great abominations. But in verse number 13, he was now going to see greater, a, an aggravated level of abominations and blasphemy. That they do. Then he brought me to the door. Look where the great abominations are being done. To the door of the gate of the Lord's house. This is what is happening in the church now. The word the door means entry point. The word the door means the gospel. Because the gospel is your door to eternal life. It is your door to salvation. It is your door to forgiveness of sins. So these greater abominations were now being done in the gospel, in the church. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Tammuz was the son of the sun God. He was the son of Nimrod, the founder of Baalism. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen? So the weeping of for Tammuz is a great ab abomination. When were they weeping for Tammuz? What date was it? Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men with their backs toward the temple of the Lord and their faces toward the east, and they worshipped the sun toward the east. <laughs> it's a great abomination. How many men were they? Twenty-five. The number twenty-five is the birthday of Tammuz. He was born on the 25th of December. We shall see Jeremiah 31, verse 32 very soon. But these were men. Look at their position. They were turning their backs on the altar. They were facing the sun. Because Tammuz is the son of the sun God. Everybody who must worship Tammuz, they must face the sun 
when they knew down to pray. So the altar was at their back. They knelt down like this and they started to worship Tammuz. The women were weeping for Tammuz because it was on his birthday. Jeremiah chapter number 51 verse 32. And that the passages are stopped. Give us verse 31. One post shall run to meet another. And one message. 52, to meet. 52, I think. Jeremiah 52, verse 31. Correction there. Yes. He says, uh, let's start from verse number 30. And in the 3 and 20th year of Nebuchadnezzar, captain of the guard. In the three and twentieth year of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive of the Jews seven hundred forty and five persons. All the persons were four thousand and six hundred. And it came to pass in the seven and thirtieth year of the captivity of Joachim, king of Judah, he was in prison for thirty-seven years. In the twelfth month, when do they do their Christmas? And in the five and twentieth day of the month, what day is that? Twenty-five December. That evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, lifted up the head of Joachim, king of Judah, and brought him forth out of prison, and spake kindly unto him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babylon, and he changed his prison garments, and he did continually eat bread before him all the days of his life. Joachim. So on the 25th day of December, Ivo Merodach, the king of Babylon, was happy because he was celebrating the birth of their son God. So he decided to release. He gave a presidential pardon to the prisoner who was Joachim, the former king of Judah. And when he was lifted out of prison, he was promoted to the position of a prime minister. A post was created for him to assist Ivo Merodach in, this, in his abominations which he perpetrated in Babylon and he was given food from the king's palace which food Daniel and his friends rejected in Daniel chapter 1. Joachim accepted those foods which were uh, dedicated to idols. So it is a strange thing that the whole world is crazy even those employers that are known for abusing their employees, they don't allow them off days, they don't pay them salaries that are commensurate with their labor. When it is Christmas time, they buy chocolates for their employees. Join me in celebrating the birth of Tammuz. It was in Rome that this birthday of Tammuz was Christianized in the amalgamations of religions which were done after the term of office of Emperor Titus and Nero, Nero. By then, it was Constantine who presided over the kingdom of Rome. He is the one who said, instead of us to call it a Tammuz birthday, let us bring these religions together. Let's call it Christmas. So we are delivered. We are happy yes. that we are a people who know the truth isa ati vunduke takaziki nuruwa atina bapu atingo di tika wana itakuti da chakati isoto joy now tino taka tati tifurile ima guaro number one tipuru vire yukuri jesa kasaro wamsa wa 25 december number two motu uzapa haka so ita iye bethi dera haka asa taenda yoti munu kana ita kutuwa bethi dera tuto tombo mona achirita ya haripo Yes. Number three, multiple Number four, more It's okay. Ano siya ati inda ako inda kudenga. Mozo pa Thomas. Na sperire. Ma bethi de give sang. (laughs) 
Saka tole kere kwenda kumusha kana mamu na December. Ujira bizi kwa naniko kwenda kumusha. Asi uli nda kumusha mna December shiti. Kwenda waka dumoka kuda. <laughs> Unomira kutitamuza atanga akwiti kwa pethi te kutuenda kumusha kwa kwewe. Inda hawa. Inda kawona kutitambu zikora. Ndawa na arondere vana vana tu ntiti Merry Christmas. Kana kutiwa nonditi ndo da Christmas box. Bwa zime nguwa o sengeje jina kaneta. Kutindi wane nguwa ya kukarane munu pasi. Utala chokwa di nchi mtaroti. Nini cho Christmas andite. Anasi mbarashu. Saka pangupashu akango senda. Message yoji. Wish you a Merry Christmas. And daire. Denda kamiro taso funzo tamu. Naku daire say message yamu. Toso mtaroti. Zime nguwa kutonyara kudaire futi. So we want to stand up and just say a prayer to God to thank him for taking us out of darkness. Colossians chapter 1 verse 12 and 13 says he has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Okay? So it's darkness. It's the kingdom of darkness. We know that our Lord has two dimensions of birth. He has a child birth and then he has a son birth. We celebrate the son birth by hearing the word. His birth spiritually was in the resurrection from the dead. That's why when he rose, God said to him, That thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. When God said those words, it was not when he was born the natural way. It was after he had risen from the dead. That's his spiritual birth and that is his true birth. You see, that's why he never called Mary Mama in any of the scriptures of the Bible. Whenever he spoke to her, he called her woman. So we want to pray to God and thank him for giving us a sobriety that shines in this dark era, in this dark generation where everyone is intoxicated People are not thinking straight. People are not critical and introspective enough to query these things. Where did this Christmas thing come? Where do we find it in the Bible? Are we expected to do it as believers? But what we know is Christmas is a holiday for the Christians. But we know we are not Christians. Amen. We are believers. <laughs> we are sons of God. Let us pray. Pray wherever you are. Just to thank God for his mercy, for his love. We are a sober generation. We are not a people that are moved and tossed to and from by every wind of doctrine which is brought by the slate of men which come with their cunning craftiness. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us this soberness which we have today because of your grace in the word. People blaspheme you left, right, and center. They speak obscenities against the sacrifice of the cross because of their ignorance. It is because you have decided to hide yourself from them lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and repent and you should heal them. You do not have an intention to save everyone except a few, those which are after the counsel of your own will you wrote their names in the book of life before the foundation of the world. Tinoku tendai, Jesu. Tinoku tendai, tinoku tendai, tinoku tendai. Makarurama, murimuchene, muno shamisa. Takaitu kwa rudziri, waka, 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 waka chene skwa, neropa. Waka shamba, nguo zaro, muropa regwaya na zika chena. Takare gire wa shitazo, nekuda kwa doro wenyu. Imi mangari, Makashi ziva enyi na kuziva kurimbe zirimbe rikwenyu. Kutukucha uya ruzi wakasana ngorwa. Makatipa mge ya okunzera magwaro. Kutitiko nzugisi isa. Kutitino fanyi wakura ramasei. Sevanu wakatengu wakuna mngari. You have given us the hunger to study scriptures. That we may become faithful servants. Which we need not to be ashamed. We are starting to be approved unto God. We are showing ourselves unproved unto God. Tisinga tevezere. 
Shakator, one Shakarongwa Navanu. We know that the traditions of men, they render powerless the word of salvation. Atisku zote ziratsika zevanu. Wakafa na wapenyu. Tichamira pa shokurakara iruwa. Shokurakara iruwa tinuruwa na magwaro enyu. Tichapembe la kumuka kwenyu. Patino gara, tichinzi kwa shokura upenyu. Tichalamba tichiziza shoko iri. Kushikira mati pfisa pa nyikaino ine china. Mujitisa kunjumba ya kanaka. Sejo makaita wakati tangira. Tinokutenda hii kuzugwa ino kusingaperi. Amen.